after updating to version 6.2 ADA firmware on my GameSir G7 SE, I had trouble with it not wanting to function right. Mostly the right trigger was constantly stuck. Even though calibrating through the app, it would recognize the trigger pools. It was not actually recognizing individual trigger pools. Once I touched any button, it would show a trigger pool. So after working with GameSir on Discord to troubleshoot, the last ditch effort finally fixed my controller and I thought I would share this with you in case you were having similar problems. This is called a manual calibration. It's not calibrating through the app. That didn't work for me, but a manual calibration. What you have to do is the three buttons at the top, the view button, the Xbox button, and the menu button, which the, the one with the two squares is the view button, the Xbox button, and then the view button, little three lines, hamburger button, whatever you want to call it. You have to hold all three of those down and when you hold those down then you plug the controller in. Make sure it's not plugged in before. So without ch touching the sticks or the triggers, hold down the view button, Xbox button, and the menu button, the three buttons at the top that I just showed you. Press them all in. It's a little difficult without touching the sticks or the triggers, but plug in the USB-C cable. You will see a light come on and when it starts to flash you can let go of the buttons. Just like that. Now press the A button and when you press the A button the light will go out completely but that's the way it's supposed to be. When you do that next pull the triggers three times all the way down to the bottom pretty slowly just slow and steady um, just like you do with the calibration test that's in the app but do not do this in the app make sure your app is closed when you're doing this. Now do the sticks three times all the way around and if you go a little over like I think I did that's fine as long as you get three times. Push them all the way to the outside of the ring and when you are done with this you're not completely done yet. You have to hit the A button again that'll finish and turn the light on but again you're not done. Now unplug the controller. We're going to power cycle it, reset it, make the settings stick. And when you unplug it, you can plug it back in. And that should manually calibrate your controller and it fixed my issues I was having. So I wanted to show you guys this in case you were having issues or needed to calibrate it and you didn't have the app possibly and needed to manually calibrate it or uh, if you were having trouble and the normal calibration methods weren't doing the trick. At the end of this video, I'll also have the screenshot from the instructions that GameSir gave me, if you'd like to read those. And leave some comments, uh, questions, let me know what you have out there. If you've had any uh, other issues, or if I missed something, let me know.